So I had a comment the other day. The person asked me, is there any way of changing the pose of a character but not changing the clothes? And that's a little bit difficult, but uh, I decided to sit down and play with it for a little bit and see if I could come up with something. And I've come up with uh, a little technique that works pretty well. Now, remember, this is AI. It's never perfect, but you know, usually if you run this one, two, maybe three times, you're going to get what you're looking for. So it's a pretty good little hack to do that. And we're going to get started with it. So first thing I did was I got a character in a generic pose. You might want to use a T pose here even. But uh, I went on and I found poses on the internet that are like bone poses. As you can see this guy right here. Um, these will work really good for posing our character. Now we're over on the style section here, we're only going to check these three things. We don't want to overload that. Over on the model section, we're going to leave that completely uh, default. We're not changing anything there either. And I'm going to run this at 1024 by 1024 because it's more of a square image. So the first thing I want to try to do is I use face swap on my first character. And I'm bringing that up a little bit high. I want to make sure that we bring that, you know, those clothes over. And uh, we're going to start out with CPDS and... Uh, we're going to run that a couple of times here and see what we get. So not real happy with the first one here. So I'm going to run this a second time. So after running it a second time, you can see that the clothing um, is exactly right. And the pose has changed. Um, still not getting that pose the exact way we want it with his head turned and looking to the left. But we're going to run this one more time and see if we can't clear that background up a little bit. And what we did was we dragged that image from the top down into that prompt um, every time we make one. So you can see here now that it's brightened up the background. It matches better. And that pose is definitely, uh, you know, completely different. And it is the same guy. So that one worked out pretty well. Um, I wish we could have got the head to turn a little bit more to the left. We're going to we're going to bring back the original Bones character that I was using, and we're going to try this. Instead of using the CPDS, we're going to switch over to Pyra Canny and see if that one works any better. Um, we'll run it one time, and usually the first time we run it, we'll get kind of a hybrid between the two pictures. Um, sometimes it'll surprise you, and it'll do really well, but what we'll do there is after it's done processing, we'll drag that down as our image prompt. So I stopped here. We're still not getting the head turned like I want. So I'm going to try to add the word profile into the prompt and see if that helps any. So now you see it gave us kind of a little bit of a weird picture, but this one's more human and it will give us a really good uh, starting point for our pose now. So as we can see here now, the uh, Pirate Candy worked really well, and it only took us two generations to get to this character, and it is the same character wearing the same clothes. So it can be done. Um, like I said, remember it's AI. Don't let it get you frustrated. Sometimes you may have to rerun it you know, several times to get what you're looking for, but if using a character with the same clothing is really important to you, this method will work. And I'm sure there's uh, Laura's out there and stuff that will make this easier. When I make these little tutorials, I try to base it on just a default setup. So anyway, uh, if you have any ways of doing it better, let us know. Um, we'd love to see you subscribe and give us a like on this. And we'll see you in the next video.